Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center here, coming at you from Blade Show West 2023. We're here at the NAFS booth with none other than Ben Peterson himself. Hooray! How are you, sir? <laughs> no, Can I girl. cheer for no, myself? If you, if you wish, it's kind of weird, but that's fine. Hey man, how are you? I'm so good. <laughs> Sorry guys. No, you're all good. Hey, so we've got a couple things to talk about today. Um, one, you may have seen already, the second is, uh, is debuting. Uh, officially with in conjunction with the show uh, but we're going to talk about the folder that you've seen first we saw it at blade show in atlanta yeah but it's it's almost here it's almost ready uh for us to start shipping to you guys so lander two lander two with the clutch on so the fun part about this thing is it is this is one of the biggest knives i've made mm -hmm. so Man? yeah please do three and a quarter inches and uh, you got a clutch lock so kaiser is the oem on it and they said, I, I said, can you make me a crossbar lock? And they're like, yeah, we can also make you a clutch lock. So it's adjustable yep. right in here. So it's officially a clutch a lock. Clutch so lock. you can adjust the tension of your, your yeah, Omega so spring. You've got that series of holes, bring it back. You can have a little less, a little more tension. You can suit it to how you like. But every Kaiser that's had it right out of the box, I've always felt is, is pretty spot on. That's so the thing. Like, don't it, think yeah. you need to, to get good action. Like some, some people just prefer it a little bit tighter or yeah. looser. So. Uh, but it's almost here. Should be uh, shipping uh, to you before Black Friday. Yes. Uh, so before, or just in time for the holiday season, this knife will be there. Yeah. S35VN steel, swappable scales, so same open source methodology yeah. that we've been doing. So you can print your own, you can yeah. make your own, you can do it however you like. I think it's really cool. I mentioned this to you earlier. There's a, the other side of this room, there's actually someone who's selling 3D printed lander scales. I love it. It's great. I, I <laughs> really do because it, it's creative commons, right? Yeah. So you yeah. can literally make and sell stuff and I encourage that. Yeah. It's a fun, it's a really fun game. And it's, it's, I think it's so cool for the community too. It's really Thank you. great. Thank you. But it's a, a cool design. Like I said, three and a quarter inch blade, just enough without being too much. Very neutral handle, so big or small hands, no problem. But it's three and a quarter though. I mean, it's, look guys, I, I'm a small knife guy. It passes the finger test, but just, just ever so bar barely. Just oh yeah, there. bringing it out to the tip. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it's it feels like a big, small knife yeah. is the way I would put it. Well, you, you can definitely get a lot of work done with this amount of size. And it just wants to go to work. And you've kind of maximized the amount of edge with it too. Like yeah. some folders, you know, get to the end of the handle and there's a gap between like where your fingers can actually grip yeah. it and where the edge starts. But you've got that neutral handle, neutral all the way to the front. So you can get right there yeah. behind the edge and get full use of that three and a quarter. Comes in black as well. Yep. So. Kind of my standard launch colors. You got a blue and a black. Deep carry clip with the uh, clip plate on the other side. Do you call it a clip plate? I call it a clip insert. I usually call it a blockout plate, actually. Can we standardize that and start calling it a clip insert? Only if we only if we can call this just a what crossbar we, lock. What if we put it on a poster? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 maybe hey. that's the thing. Maybe that's the thing. But if we do that, then we have to stop calling it the clutch lock. It's got to be a crossbar lock. Okay. Yeah. On the poster, it's a crossbar lock. Yeah. Good. Good See? <laughs> but it's a very cool knife. Um, it, it's just something that's going to work really well and almost ready. Almost ready for you yep. guys to get your hands Ships on. Ships November. Fantastic. It's coming right up. Uh, and then debuting for this show is Ye Olde Fixed Blade. My first. You want to hear the story on it? I do because you're uh, you're kind of coming in on my uh, fixed blade territory. I know I, you're going to be so much better. It won't even matter. <laughs> well, well, so here's what happened, guys. It's, ten, it's a cool night. Ten years ago, Joe Flowers invited me to the Amazon. He's like, "Let's go to the Amazon, do Bushcraft Global." I'm like, "I have no money, Joe." <laughs> and so it's taken me ten years in a knife design to get to the point where I'm like, "I'm going to the jungle." So part of the reason I designed this was to be able to go on Bushcraft Joe Global. In fact, I've been calling it Bushcraft, Bushcraft Jobel. Jobel. Yes. It's actually pretty Can we fantastic. all adopt that now? Um, but I really wanted to go down there and learn. And this whole thing for me has been a learning project. Mm -hmm. Designing fixed blades, scanty grinds, all of those things, even going to the Amazon, like learning to make a blowgun, learning like don't touch that tree, right? Like it's been such a cool it's learning almost, experience. It's almost like don't do what Joe Flowers does is the, yeah. is the learning the experience. The crash through the jungle. But oh, uh, we did it in Magna Cut and we did mm -hmm. it in raw Magna Cut. Mm -hmm. So that raw kind of, it's almost like a hammer pounded finish. Uh, everyone is going to be unique, but you might get like kind of some weird aberrations, sure. like different things in there. Well, you guys are making the, this in the US too, so it's yeah. automatically going to be a bit higher price point. It is. And some things like that that you could do to, you know, avoid an extra finishing step yep. while still having something that looks very good exactly. without it. Exactly. Yeah, smart. We did a sculpted handle, micarta with a G10 underlay. 
And then we did two finishes too. So there's a PVD black coated and a uh, and the raw magnet. And the raw magnet cut. Yep. Magna cut, great choice, especially on a Scandi where you want a little bit of extra toughness. Yeah. While still maintaining that stainless quality. Can we talk too. Scandies for a minute, David? Let's do. Can we nerd out? Let's do. So this thing came with a zero grind Scandi, an official Scandi. Mm -hmm. And I took it out and started beating on it. And let, it me, let me guess, it chipped. It chipped, yeah. Magna cut 62 HRC and it's chipping and I'm like, ah, oh, crap. And that's when I learned about micro bevels. Mm -hmm. So micro bevels, it's got a 17 degree micro bevel on it that helps us not chip. It's remarkable what that does. It is. It does yeah. not chip now. So all of them chip with a micro bevel. And that's something that most like handmade Scandi makers do anyway, even if you don't realize it. And it's something that as you go and sharpen it, you're gonna kind of naturally put one on there without even realizing it. But that's how it works. So that's how it works well. Let's talk about the sheath for a minute. Let's a lot do. of folks want to know how this thing comes to carry. So Kydex sheath with a whole bunch of mounting holes on it. You can neck carry it. And then right here, there's a, a sheath adjustment, reten retention adjustment, basically. I've got mine with an old T-clip. And that's part of the design language here is like, I wanted people to, if you want to lash it to a backpack, mm -hmm. if you want to throw it on your belt, like there are choices and options. You can tech lock it, you can do it however you like. But uh, out of the box, that's kind of what it looks like with a, uh, like a J loop on there, kind of yeah, J loop. Yeah. So very good. Yeah. And are you gonna have leather available as an option as well? Or there is an aftermarket leather. It won't go to dealers because it's so stinking expensive. Like, every, and it's USA made. So that was another thing on this mm -hmm. project. Like, I wanted everything to be USA made. So we did an aftermarket leather one, but sure. it's like the margins. It's so interesting, and you yeah. see this all the time. But like, yeah. when you start playing in the United States, everything goes up. So we actually. Yeah, maybe this is dumb, but the box is made in the U.S., the labels on the box, like the stickers are made in the U.S. Like, I, I'm calling people like, where are your, yeah. your one by two and a half inch labels made? Right. They're right. like Los Angeles. I'm like, cool, I'll take 300. Right. right, right. And so that was part of the ethos for me is like, I wanted this printed, the box printed, all of this in the U.S. So. For me, it was it was a challenging project. It's yeah. not easy. Yeah. So. Well, the results came out pretty good. I mean, it's a compact knife. It's super comfortable though. You've got plenty of girth on the handle there. The micarta feels good. The taper towards that three inch blade is yeah. going to allow you to be super precise with it in all kinds of different grips. I mean, it, yeah. it feels fantastic. So I, I spent a week like I kind of pulled up on a log in the jungle mm -hmm. and like sat there and whittled for four days. And uh, it just performed. That's like nice. you can see the patina that comes in on that micarta. Yeah. It's just, I've really, really enjoyed it. And know? now that knife is part of the story. It is. That's yeah, good stuff. That's my, I love it. That's excellent. Thank you, David. No, th no thank you. We appreciate it. Um, folks, if you want to get your hands on either of these, uh, I know we had a limited quantity of the initial launch of the fixed blade. Uh, we probably don't have any left right now, but you're going to be making more. Yep. It'll so, be, I don't know. 60, 90 days, that kind of thing. So Check out the links in the description. Uh, you can see the product listing for these and you'll be able to get your hands on that lander too real soon. Man, thank you so much, man. Thank you, David. Always Appreciate your time. Make sure to check out the rest of our Blade Show West coverage. Thanks, guys.